cool. Okay, let's have a look at some more solving equations. We're going to have a look at solving inequalities and transposing formulae. So, this statement says x is less than 6. So x can be any number smaller than 6. This says x is less than or equal to 6. So x is any number up to and including 6. This says x is greater than 6. So x can be any number that's bigger than 6. And this says x is greater than or equal to 6. So x can be any number bigger than 6, which includes 6. We can have statements like x plus 2 is less than 6. So that means that x must be a number that's less than 4. We can also have statements like 4x plus 3 is less than 12. These are called inequations because instead of an equal sign, we have what's called an inequality sign. So let's have a look at how we'll solve an inequation. Here we have 3x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 13. So we need to find out what x is. So first thing we do, just like we have been doing, is do the same operation to both sides. We're minus 4 to both sides. So we have 4 minus 4 is 0, and 13 minus 4 is 9. So the next line looks like 3x is greater than or equal to 9. Now we need to divide both sides by 3. The 3's cancel out on the left, and we're left with x is greater than or equal to 3. And so we've solved that inequation. Now, let's have a look at this. 10 is greater than 6. Well, that's obvious. That's obviously true. 10 is a bigger number than 6. But what if we divide both sides of that inequation by negative 2? Now we have negative 5 is greater than negative 3, which is clearly not true. Negative 5 is a smaller number than negative 3. So, any time we divide or multiply an inequation by a negative number, we need to reverse the sign. Here's the rule here. When multiplying or dividing both sides of an inequation by a negative number, you must reverse the sign. Let's have a look at one. Here's an equation, 9 minus 2x is less than or equal to 7. So we want to find out what x is, we need to solve this inequation. So the first thing we undo is the 9. So we'll minus 9 from both sides, the 9's disappear, and we're left with negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 2. So now we need to get rid of the negative 2, so we divide both sides by negative 2. So on the left hand side the negatives cancel out, but remember we need to change the direction of the sign. So. Our answer is x is greater than or equal to 1 because we've had to reverse the sign. Now, transposing a formula. Here's a familiar formula. This is the equation for the circumference of a circle given the radius. Circumference equals 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius. That's a great equation if you want to find out the circumference of a circle, but what if you want to find out the radius? What you need to do is rearrange that formula, what's called transposing the formula. So just like we have been doing, we need to undo the operations. So we need to move that 2 pi away from the r, so we have r on its own. So we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 pi. So now on the right hand side, we have a 2 pi on the top and 2 pi on the bottom line of a fraction. So we can cancel them out. And so what we're left with is c divided by 2 pi equals r. Or, if we reverse the equation, r equals c over 2 pi, which is a much more useful equation for finding the radius of a circle. Let's have a look at a more complicated example. Here's the equation for the volume of a cone. So v equals pi times the radius squared times height divided by 3. But let's say you wanted this in terms of h. You wanted h as the subject. You want h equals something. Well, we need to undo the operations again. So, first thing we need to undo is that divide by 3. So we times both sides by 3. The 3's on the right cancel out. And we have 3v equals pi r squared times h. So now we need to undo the pi r squared. So we divide both sides by pi r squared. And pi r squared's on the right cancel out. And so now we have 3v over pi r squared equals h. And we can reverse this formula, turn it around, 
to get h equals 3v over pi r squared. OK, now go to page 190 and have a go at question 20 left hand side, question 21 left hand side and question 22 left hand side. Good luck.